Hello Handheld Gamers, welcome back to the channel. So a few days ago on the community tab I posted that I thought I'd find a little fix to this guide. This is a really, really good guide post posted by Retro Game Corps for the Anbernic Win 600. And one of the cool features is you can change the screen resolution down to 540p. However, there's a caveat here that says do not try to adjust the screen resolution to 540p within the Windows settings or the power control panel as it makes your screen glitch. So for older games, you can generally use this and in the game set it to 540p. But in slightly newer games, you don't have that resolution. 720p appears to be the lowest resolution you can set. Now if you do try and use the power control panel, indeed it does glitch. You got a top half of your screen goes all multicolored lines and, the, and your screen kind of moves down. Resetting it to 720p as it says here resolves that glitch. However, I thought I'd seen something about this previously on, online. So I did a bit of digging and I found an old article uh, an old forum post from some people with a GPD, original GPD-1 with a similar issue and a bit of digging showed the following. So if you were to set your screen resolution to 960 by 544, not 540, it resolves the issue. And sure enough, yes it does. So I've changed my resolution to 544. You can see I'm playing Forza Horizon 4 here just now. And you can see that it's applied the 540 in the game settings, it says it's 720p. But you can see it's softened all the text. So it is running at 540p. If you like what I do, please like, share and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. Now, using 540p in a game like Forza Horizon 4 does actually have some slight benefits. I'm now averaging roughly about 30 FPS, as you can see here. In-game, it will hover between... It will drop down about as low as 27, but it will generally be round about the 30 mark. If, however, I left it at proper 720p, it would dip down to 24 FPS. In fact, it would quite often be below 30 FPS. So I'm finding this actually quite playable, this little hack. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.